You have nature with a story to tell all the way from uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Shangan Quartz. Now, uh, color-wise, we're talking uh, predominantly uh, uh, maybe amethyst, uh, milky amethyst. Um, but now what's interesting about this piece is this particular formation. It's as if this this uh, crystal was minding its own business when when uh, another came flying from the heavens and landed on its in its side. A little bit of an amethyst tip there. Bit of a coating of uh, Charles Sydney on the side. So this is, uh, I'd say, a specimen with a story to tell. Um, we'll, we'll never really know, but we can imagine what happened here. An accident, perhaps. There is the stem of that one. So it jumped off its stem and it went, it, it jumped into the side of this crystal. I'm just going to, let's just zoom in over here, show you the color on, on that, on that one. So there, there would be that crystal, which has now joined this other crystal from the side. Accidental, uh, well, we never know what nature has in mind here. And uh, going all the way around, all the way from Zimbabwe. Um, uh, maybe not the most aesthetic specimen, but from a form point of view, quite, quite intricate and interesting in that we have this accident. Here we go. Look at that. And I will look later to see if we find some gas come water bubbles trapped inside these. Uh, if they move, I'd classify them as in hydras. If they don't, there would be reflections. Often in these Shangan courses, I find stationary bubbles, and I, I just go with reflections.